gentlemen, here I have two Mason Alhambra fragrances that I've had the opportunity to test out, wear and review for you guys. One of them is the Serpent and the second of them is the Trail. I'm going to look at the price, the longevity and performance, the projection and see art. And lastly, I'm going to give you my final opinions and ratings of the two fragrances here. Let's not waste any more time and let's begin. So let's apply the Serpent here on my right arm and let's apply the trail here on my left arm. These two you can find between 18 to 20 bucks online and these are 100 ml Eau de Parfum bottles. So in terms of price, this is incredible value for money. By the way, the scent of the day is actually the trail. But let's start with the Serpent. The Serpent is a clone of Gucci, the voice of the snake. This has the notes of saffron, oud and patchouli. And this is exactly what you get from the fragrance. This is woody, dark, dry, deep, a little spicy and has somewhat of a sweetness to it as well. The oude cordy used in the serpent has a slightly sweet but mostly a dark, dense, woody and slightly earthy quality to it and has some of a mysterious quality possibly coming from the added patchouli as well that is also contributing to creating this oude Cord. and the fragrance overall has a slightly addictive quality and in the air this smells super amazing as well. The saffron brings some slight sweetness to the fragrance as well with some minor spiciness to it. Overall the notes might sound simple but the fragrance is super well blended in my opinion and based on the price I think the serpent is super well made and smells very good in my opinion. I can already tell Tell you right now that the serpent was my favorite out of the two but i think it's time to talk about the trail let's spray the trail here on my left arm and let's talk about this one the trail is a clone of gucci and midnight stroll the notes of the fragrance are incense cake oil and cypress and the first thing that my girlfriend said when she smelled this fragrance is that it smells like a spicy salami from a butcher and unfortunately that is the only thing I get from this fragrance, especially in the first few hours of wearing. This has some sort of a spicy meat-like quality, almost smells vegetal and culinary. I didn't think I would ever say that about a fragrance, but that is mostly what I get on my skin from the trail. After a few hours have passed by, this begins smelling way more incense heavy and more green from the cypress, but I still get a good whiff here and there from the culinary scent quality which I think is really off-putting and certainly not something that I am the biggest fan of but the fact is that this smells way better in the air when people are wearing it rather you smelling it on yourself on my colleague who actually borrowed me these fragrances a trail on him smells more incense heavy it doesn't smell as unpleasant as it does on my skin but on my skin this smells very off-putting but even though these two fragrances have their differences there are some things that they do have in common and that is a positive for both of them and the thing that i'm talking about is the longevity and performance the serpent on my skin lasts 12 plus hours whereas the trail lasts between 8 and 10 hours so both of these last for a very long time so for 18 to 20 bucks it's impressive how long these last for such a low price and believe it or not the success story continues when talking about the projection and sillage the projection on both of these is insane from my personal experience with a projection of between three to five meters plus my colleagues said that they could smell the serpent on me from possibly 10 meters away sometimes and the story continues with the trail because this also has a projection between three to five meters plus and this has a way better sillage than it has a 
of wearing experience so people might like the skiage from far away that they might like from up close so both of these fragrances have incredible projection and skiage so gentlemen i've mentioned everything important to know about the two fragrances here and now it's time for my final opinions and ratings of two fragrances here meets alhambra the serpent and meets alhambra the trail i'm gonna keep it short and sweet i prefer the serpent over the trail and it's not even close the serpent is an astonishing value for money fragrance while also being slightly similar to louis vuitton andre nomad in terms of the scent profile not in terms of quality but in terms of projection longevity and overall the idea of a woody food accord with some slight dark earthy patchouli and some sweetness and spiciness at the top while maison alhambra the trail smells more niche and might only appeal to a very small group of people i certainly don't like wearing it i don't like it at all and it's not my cup of tea but even though it's not my type of fragrance my friend that loaned these bottles to me loves the trail and can't get enough of it and wears it very frequently and also gets a lot of longevity and projection from it and in terms of men's improvement rating it's miles away from one another i have given mason alhambra the serpent a 9.5 out of 10 men's improvement rating which is super high and i'm super surprised by how this fragrance wore smells and performed while the trail will get an unfortunate 6.5 out of 10 men's improvement rating it's incredible how long this lasts and projects but the scent profile on my skin and in my opinion is either low quality or simply said not something for me and not my cup of tea gentlemen did you like this video of me comparing two mason alhambra fragrances i don't typically talk about cheapies on the channel but when i do i really like to do it because they are more accessible and very cheap so a lot of people can get their hands on them and try them if you like this video don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the men's improvement youtube channel for more videos about fragrances grooming style fashion skincare fitness watches everything that will make you gentlemen the best possible versions of yourselves the last few things that i want to ask you gentlemen to smile more because it's free and i want you to watch these two videos right here this one here below is going to be my latest upload rest this one up here is going to be a video that the youtube algorithm thinks you will enjoy